Fuck, I forgot to switch the name. <laughs> uh... Okay. <laughs> oh, I saw my... Whatever. Um... New stuff if I have to. Any time. Oh, because... I don't know what's the name. Mm. Normally, I like to use the bunny colors. Usually, sir. Oh, wait, no, I took like a couple. I mean, heading up. It's too loud or too quiet. I actually still- I'm like a little bit... Um... I haven't actually been that drunk this whole time. I've actually just been too- Like... Sucks. Sucks. Because I'm trying to get drunk. I'm trying. I'm really trying. I think I just need to like... Keep pounding back drinks. Little sailor shirt. Go so it short. Yeah, after a bit, I was mostly sober. Fuck, because I. It takes a lot for me to get drunk. God. I don't want to get drunk. Maybe I should just get, like, my bottle of vodka. Take swings from it. I've just been drinking these seltzers. Seltzers, they only have 4.8. You know, so it's like, whatever. Normally I go with dogs and play this. Should I get a cat? Should I get a cat and should I name it cat? My liver is so strong, it sucks. It takes so the the one time I got super super drunk, like I literally I had starved myself the entire fucking day. That's the only reason I got super super drunk. I got drunk within like 30 fucking minutes, which is like the shortest time ever. But I had also drunk, I drunk like a quarter of a fucking bottle of rum. And then I drank uh, a couple swigs of vodka, and then I drank like a whole fucking cocktail. And I hadn't eaten all day. That was like the only time. Cat called cat? Which one do you want? Like yellow, gray, or like original? It's like so hard for me. Get like properly, like it's very like I could get tipsy, you know, and stuff, but like never get properly drunk. I never get properly drunk, right? I name my. 
Asik. Uh, um, name. So he's a tough one. Uh, Yeah, no world order. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, and I like to do and but should I do something different? Because I always do river. I like river. Uh, I fish all the time. Ants can see. This. It's been a while since I played vanilla. Like, I don't know. Like, you get through vanilla stardew and then, like, you go through that process where you pull a shitload of. Be nice. Oh, dude. You ever think about how fucked up the way Grandpa's bed is like fucking living? Only have three hours. I have any. See, for a while, modded Stardew didn't even register on your Steam. I probably have like 200 unlogged hours of Stardew. Currently, I have. 371 hours of Stardew Valley. So, add like 200. Yeah, right? His bed is so strange. Touching any wall. And it's so flimsy. I'm ignoring what Grandpa's. Also, 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 why is he got a. Evelyn, what's that? That's supposed to be great. Dude. Yeah, why is it tilted? Yeah, let's aim uh, volume. Okay. I volume. Okay. I remember. I. Let's come out. Feel like it is. All right, I'm gonna trust you. Yeah, no. You're reading this. You must be in dire need of a check. Same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most to me. The connections were. Dropped everything. I moved to the place I tr I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My prize and joy. Home world or the farm. It's enclosed in Stardew Valley. Uh, oh, it's in, it's located in in Stardew Valley on the, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. It was my most precious gift of all. Now it's yours. I know you honor the family name. Luck, love, Grandpa. Yes. If Lewis is still that's fucking more. If Lewis is still alive. Say hi to the old guy. I won't, Grandpa, thank you. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Okay. In the bus. Look at this man. His job. The lad. Car. Car. There's another car. I don't know how close. Yeah, why was the letter? I don't know. I guess I just like kept it. Excuse me. Hello. You must be. Oh. I'm Robin, local carpenter. Hey, Lucy. What do you know? I'm there right now, tidying things. Right. I'm right over here if you'll follow me. So like how far did you get? How how far did you get played? Like you ever married? It's known world order farm. Oh my god. What's the matter? It's a bit of Good. Little dedication, you'll have a clean. That's fair. My I've played this game through files. Majority of the save files. I have married Penny. I like her a lot. I think she And here we are. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Liv. Hey, a pellet. Game. Oh. That sucks. Ever want to play together? Let me know. I'll host a thing. The thing for it. Yeah, everyone's asking. Not every day that someone quite a big deal. I think multiplayer starter is really fun. So, I love playing with others. The furthest I've got in a save with someone was I got all the way to the beginning of year two. And then we kind of stopped. Like we were playing with mods and mods we were playing with uh, never really got updated. Save file broke. I would be willing to play vanilla with you. So, you're moving into your grandfather's home. Very sick. What do you mean by that? A stick. That's one way to put it. Yes. One of the most... <laughs> the person I was saying... Like, it was my... And... He had a cannabis mod. <laughs> and... I would grow weed. And I would give it... To the villagers. <laughs> and stuff. Quite good. But, um... I'm kinda... Not to... Not to humble brag or anything. I'm a little bit cracked at this game. I've got quite a few things memorized. So like I know how to make profits for certain things. Um most of the time I choose not to because I feel like it takes the fun out of the game. Uh and really I just enjoy fishing game a lot, even though a lot of people hate the fish. Ironically. Frosty might be a little more apt though. Finish through this. Don't listen to her, no. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy whatever house of I one of my favorite memes I have on hand is like this meme that's like, does your game have a fishing mini game? If yes, it's the best game ever. If no, it's shit. It's awful. It's worse. Best game.
Yeah. Oh my god, I love fishing. I love fishing. in games is so important i played what was the i don't know i don't remember which number but the final fantasy um the mmo it's like 14 or 15 something it, it offers a free trial right of like a month trial something like that maybe oh no it's like a free trial up to level something a certain level I don't know. Anyway, it's a free trial, basically. And so, I started it up play it because I had a friend who played it. Like, oh, I tried out. So I played it, and I did it just to try out the fishing. So I speed ran the game till I got to the fishing, and I played the fishing, and then I was like, "Wow, this sucks. I don't like this fishing system at all." And then I never fucking touched it. Like, that was enough to make me stop playing. <laughs> because the fishing fucking sucked. Like, that's all it takes for me. The game has a good fishing system. I'll keep playing it till the end of fucking time. There's quite a few games I've played though that obviously have a super amazing... What, have no fishing system at all? The Golders Gate. No fishing system, despite there being fishing rods and hell on their own studio. But, um, I love it. Got like 700 fucking out. Um, blah blah blah. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit. And I will not do that. Um, townspeople would appreciate that. I'm sure they would. I don't give a shit. But, you know, games are everything. In Warframe? Oh my god, when I found out you could fish in Warframe. Warframe's like... The like, MMO I really played was Neverwinter. Around... seventeen, twenty eighteen, 2018. Tend to shit. Neverwinter Online. Tend to shit. So I stopped playing it. Um, and that was the that was the only MMO I used to really play. It was like a D and D based MMO, so I loved it. You know what I mean? Because I fucking love D and D. But um, played that, and then like uh, Warframe, I got into for a while. That was an MMO I played for a pretty good time. They have spear fishing, which is a really fun fishing system, and it's really different. Because you know most most games they fishing rod, you know. So spear fishing was quite fun. Yeah, it really was. Um, I did play that for a while. I would literally just play Warframe and sit and fit. Like I would watch, I would watch Hollow live streams or like TV shows or whatever, and just fish. It was fucking great. And like I got tired of. Yeah, anyway. oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it. So fun, <laughs> fun fact: When I first played Stardew, I've I've been playing Stardew since I think like it. I don't know what year that is, but like it's a while ago now. At least five years is something like. That. When I play, first played Stardew, um, I did not fucking pay attention to anything he said. I didn't pay attention to shit in this intro. And I always thought that that box sucked shit. I thought it was awful. I thought, like, it's a trash bin. Fuck it. So anytime I wanted to sell something, I would go to a store to sell it. But I was fucked on Wednesdays. I can't sell things on Wednesday. It gets closed. Until you unlock the key. 
Um, so, yeah. Played a lot of them. Yeah, I've not played a lot. I used to play Wizards Online. Weird. You know? Uh, and Club Penguin, of course. Toontown. You know, it's like a lot of, like, kid. Never really seriously got into MMO. Like, most people. I used to play a little bit of WoW, um, and I, it, when the Tempest Boys were playing WoW, uh, I got back into it. It's hard to get into MMOs, because you kind of, the appeal of MMOs is like, in the name, you know, multiplayer, massive multiplayer online. It's just, yeah, exactly, I didn't, the box, it just never clicked for me, I just would always fucking suck. Now I use the book. But, um... But, um... MMO is... It's just... You need people to play it with. Otherwise... My friends have always been willing to play MMOs with me. Just like me, you know, it's like after a while you get bored of it, so everyone just kind of drops it, or like people get busy. So like, everyone falls out of the habit of playing it, right? It's rough. Like, because when you're younger, like the only reason I stayed in Neverwinter is like all of us were super into it, so we would play it frequently. That was back in like fucking high school. You know, you have all the time in the world after school. Like, all my friends are like, mostly busy. Uh, everyone's got fucking lives because we're in that stage where like, you go going the city, or like... Yeah, you do and shit, whatever. Right? Or you're like, moving somewhere. Like, fuck. Like, no one really... Kinda just like, mess around. Fucking sucks. But... You know, then just, like in a few years back, having like time where we can. Looking for rough now, but you know, it'll get better. Let's like, try to keep that mentality. Try to keep that positive. Quite pessimistic. Yeah, and not being a kid is hard. Like crazy, cause like when you're a kid, right? Oh, when I'm an adult, I'll be able to do so much shit. Like, yeah, one of the perks is like I can buy my own games now, right? When I was a kid, I couldn't shit. I couldn't get any really. I just had to make do with what I had. Now I can buy buy whatever the fuck I want. Um, like I don't have the time really to invest in them. The only time I can miss, like, for example, the reason I'm, like, playing so many days, I don't work. I can fucking... You know, it's, it's like, I guess it's no different from, like, staying up on a... Well, I don't know if it's... Oh, that's another thing, like, from childhood, right? Remember, like, being, like, eight years old, you'd stay up till, like, ten o'clock, and you'd be like, oh my god, I'm up at ten p." And then, like, these days, I go to bed at eight. I, like, I go, I, I go to bed at, like, full and normal. Time to go to sleep, let's go. Like, yeah, 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 being a kid, and you were like, ooh. 
And you, and you brag to your, your friends at school. Say, you're like, I stayed up till 11 p.m. And they're like, holy shit. Right? What about the thing as a kid? Where, like, you play on your DS late at night. And then, like, your parents come in to check on you or some shit. So you hide it under your pillow. Right? Passing in right now, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it has to be like a little bit past midnight now for me to get like tired. Like, I, uh, the kid, I definitely used to be like eight hours or more, but like around the time I hit like 16, 17, I had six, I can only really sleep six hours. If I sleep any more, any less, I feel like shit. Quite a while. Like, what are these? Whatever. Is it beat? Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. I've always needed white noise. Oh, that's what I would do too. I would like plug in my DS. And I would like turn up the volume just a bit. And I would fall asleep. That. Oh, man. Nowadays, I have uh, a Bluetooth eye mask. Um. I, I have a blue. I just listen to like Spotify. I listen. Hey, it's like, but it's still the same. You know? I don't know. Reminded me of such a such a simple give some gifts. To me. Um. Oh my god, it was Cronies. That's what you found. Oh, you got ink. For me, it was kind of similar. That was, that was kind of similar. I couldn't really sleep. Um, and before then, what I would do is I would just... Like, this is just isn't do Like, it's whatever. I would, like, stay up till, like, 4am. That was the time I was really into catch games. I started like, I don't know, just browsing the internet, I guess. I was like browsing Twitter. One on my feet. About, um, called Hololive. And I was like, oh, that's cool. It was like a, uh, it's like a Coco and a Miko clip. Something. See? Maybe that might have been later. I know, like, the first time I really got into Hololive was I was just browsing YouTube, which I don't, I don't normally do. I used to mostly just go to YouTube to watch, like, York's cast and stuff. But I was, like, so bored. So I was just browsing YouTube. And I stumbled upon this YouTuber. Minecraft. It was Sora. And I watched it, and I was... I could understand, like, maybe barely a word, so, you know, like, my Japanese wasn't that bad. 
there was a translator in chat and I was like, this is awesome. I fucking love this. This is actually really awesome. And I just fell into the rabbit hole and I was alive. Like later that year, ID debuted. I watched a lot of Risu. Because before EN, ID debuted in school or so. So they were like basically the alive. One of the Chinese talents. They had debuted Chinese talent uh branch by the way. I like I I would watch them. Mm. But I remember in the announcement of the starting a Hololive English branch, and I was fucking busy. I watched a lot of Holostars back then too. Holostars was the main reason I actually got into understanding a lot more Japanese because they didn't have as dedicated translators as like the girls did. So I had to put a lot more effort. I wanted to like understand while watching it. Yeah. And it debuted. Hollow Life changed so much for me. I got so into it. And I was still in, like with myth and stuff. Um I never really bought much merch until until the first anniversary. And then uh the first anniversary hit and I bought some merch. And I bought a membership to Watson. Um, I mean, I had already been membered to Sora by then. As soon as Sora dropped a membership, so I, I was, um, I'm a day one Sora. But, um, yeah, with Myth, it's so cool. And counter drops. Ume was, like, amazing to me. Anna was also amazing. So into them. It's just been so crazy the last four years of just watching Hololive. I've been a fan since 20 January. It's just crazy to see how they've expanded so much. Like, well deserved. Really amazing. It inspires me so much. I've improved my life so much because of them. Apollo Live. Normally, I get into something I'm only really interested in for about a year or two, and then I drop it. Like, I've really been invested. I think I'll be invested in it for my life, even if I've like booked an activity here and there. Okay. I'll always for them and like uh, what inspired me to start like streaming like this. Because it's just it's fun. It's fun to do this. It's fun to chat. If, yeah, they changed my life for the best. They've inspired me to, like, I started going back to school because Mume inspired me. She was able to stream and do something. You know, and that's like, what excuse did I have to not also go back to school? So I did. I've started working. And like, they work to improve their lives, why shouldn't I? You know, they, they eat better, work out, stuff like that. Activities, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Civ DT. You know, it's inspiring, right? Things that they do. Even though they might just be streamers and they might not ignore just as it's still so much. And the only reason I've ever really stayed into Hull Live, I think, is the people I've met through it, like you cat, right? Okay? I've I've met so many of my dear friends. It's not even, you know, not even much as much about the streamers, but friends I've made. 
watching them. You know, it's crazy. Like when I first joined the the Civ Discord, I never thought, I never thought I would become owner one day. I really didn't. Uh, I didn't even think I would make mod team. The only reason I applied for mod was because I was just like, well, I don't know how long I'm gonna be here, but why not try it? People seem nice, and maybe I could help out for a bit. So I applied, and the fact that I actually got accepted is crazy to me. It just all happened. Now, yeah, it's been like two, two and a half years, right? Something like that. Crazy. I don't really like it. Mm. Beautiful. I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't regret any of it. Okay. I'm so happy I got to meet so many people, experience so. Many. I would honestly not play. Happy for it. I just need to keep playing this. Um, and the little thing over. Curiosity killed the cat, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy, you know. Many things kind of fell together. Like, we could meet. Like, I never thought I would enjoy watching a stream. Testing it in Discord with someone. Like a thing happened in so enjoy able to talk about interest. That get people that Yeah, I guess it is kind of getting roughly the same time. Ah, uh, it's up to you. Have anything to do? You have anything to do? Probably sleep. You can always watch my board. Might um the game. I've been thinking um I've been thinking that Monday mornings streaming more. I enjoy it. I really do. I love streaming. I like being able to stream and chat with people and play games. That someone finds it and enjoys it. And if I'm kind of shit at games, 
Maybe I don't always play the way people enjoy. If it might be fucking help us. I'll say it is hard. I always say. Clean this up to you. Who knows how long we'll keep. Are you like an hour or two ahead of me? I guess you would be, right? See. Maybe once you go to bed is when I'll... I don't know. Like the, the, the padding. I think the hard part for me with streaming is I don't have a, a big follower. I don't really advertise. He, I guess feel the need to because I don't stream that often. And I don't want to like sell to people that like, hey, I'm a streamer. I stream because I don't stream that often. Okay. And I don't want people to like follow me thinking that they'll get regular either. But I would like to stream more. For me, the fun part of streaming is adding my account. Is my follow account so. But, but like, if someday maybe. get a regular. Stream, maybe that would make more. out with. I guess. Yeah, let me hold this. I've thought about it, you know. But like, really like I draw. I wouldn't be able to really provide email. I didn't. They stream it up. Maybe, maybe if I do set this. For yeah, I really like advertising. Feel floating around out on Twitter. I know. Probably build up a schedule. More people. More people. Discuss. Right? I dream. Be nice. idea that one day yeah that's another thing is I'm worried about it feeling like obligation like 
I have to stream. Rather than I want to stream. That's mostly what I do these days. I only stream when I feel up to it. When I feel. Which means I only really stream every few in game. Feel comfortable with streaming. Yeah, if it was an obligation, would I still have fun with it? Would I still be able to bring the same energy? I think at some point, yes. Because I, I like being able to put myself out. I like talking to people. Like I said earlier. And if people actually show up. I don't know if people go. And if they don't... How do I make an entertaining video watch to think I should watch this guy live? The answer to that is I don't know. I'm not good at talking by myself. Just probably like a thing of right? Like that. When I'm by myself, I just end up talking about the game. The game that I'm playing and like whatever. It happens all the time. A lot of my green hell bods where talking constantly about my objective in the game. I have known to that's it. I mean I went to a whole rant to you about Pokemon earlier. Because you were in the chat. You wanted to engage me. Rough. It's rough. I don't really have much to chat to because that's like my biggest part being a streamer is you like talking to people. But in order to talk to more people, advertise so that people watch my streams. I don't like Advertising feels mean and like I'm promising them something. I don't know. A cycle. But I think I just need to suck it up and just start streaming regularly on days. But like Sunday nights. Even if it's just like an hour or two hours. Yeah, the endless cycle of not knowing what. Rough. But I think if I just stream regularly. Even if it's just. I title it. Still stream. Third time. I would not notice. Both ESL. Cat. Try things out. Is good right. Warming sound of definitely does. He works so much. I tell him to relax and he just I told well, mm, the Moo Million I told him but, but normally Works a lot. Yeah, well. mm -hmm. I think maybe sometimes I'm in the morning, nice and
Be nice. Yeah, you can. You, you, as you have, so, okay. The crafting system. It's a fishing skill. As you up, go, first a better. And as your fishing skill goes up, that little bar, bigger. Upping your fishing skill and getting better rods just makes it so... Mm. Oh, sorry, yawn. Um, so that you can add, like, bait. Cool. And it makes it easier to buy, uh, uh, not buy, uh, buh, buh, catch, 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 catch a higher level fish. Stuff like that. Some fish have, all the fish actually have, like, a difficulty level to them. Oh. Like, and there's like special fish in the game. Legendary cheer fish. That you can only have for like rainy days or. <laughs> We're in sync. I think I'll end stream as soon as I finish this. Kind of self. So, you know, we'll see how long. Can they don't spoil at all? Get um, you have this thing, this collection thing where you can fish. It bits about the river farm. You normally uh the default Stardew farm. To be the only farm available. You didn't used to have variety. But um didn't used to really catch any good fish there. Um each fish, so let me catch a fish. There's different areas. There's the lake. Um yeah. Sell the fish and what fish you've caught are like sort of kept in so there's um the river fish they're all found here, right? Of river, right? But then there's mountain lake fish. And there's forest lake fish. And then there's ocean fish that are contained within. Uh your farm, when you select the river farm, are obviously only river fish. And yes, there is a specific fish you can catch in. 
Also, a specific fish you can catch only in the desert. Uh, the and also only in the desert. Yeah. Um. Um. Adds like here the community <sighs> the specific fish you catch from every different adds to like the complete it rewards for each bundle like um you complete a bundle and they repair like the minecart system so instead of running all the way to the mines you in a minecart, you're there. Um, wearing the bus stop so you can go to the desert. Uh, they repair your greenhouse so you can grow uh, crops all year long, even in winter or out of season or what have you. Um, what else? Um, the uh, like the way to the quarries, mines to get certain. Um, they unlock gold panning, sparkles appear. Yep, ores. Uh, I think what else? They have a thing, I think, where they repair... Yeah, they, um... They raise your relationship with the village. Um... I mean, obviously, they eventually repair the whole... Such a whole thing. Um... Mid-late game, yeah. I enabled it so that I could, um, potentially complete the community center in year one. Normally, you can't complete it till year two without cheats. But then they added in a thing where if you enable it, you can complete it year one. Because if you pay attention, so one of the things you need, or one of the packages in the cabbage, normally that is a crop that is only sold at year two. But if you pay attention, after enabling one, uh, there's a secret merchant that shows up every Friday down here, um, and she sells red cabbage seeds year one. You have to keep a lookout for them. I think they cost about five fifty gold, and buy them and you plant them. Put them in the community. Um, yeah, it's, uh, um, it's, it's, um, a lot of it's like mid late game. But that's kind of like the fun part, is progressing through like land. Played the game times. Really mind. And I've watched the game like grow so much. Any, uh, but yeah, you know. Game, uh, play through the game. Sim 
I have a lot of this just by the back of my head. Yes, like secret thing. Yeah, he's. Oh my god, it's patched out. But there used to be this, um. So in the desert, there's this shrine where if you sacrifice a certain material, you get like one of the strongest, if not the strongest, I think it is the strongest, uh, sword game. There's, you need a sword for we to go down in the mine. Oh, creep. But, um,. Get the strongest sword in the game by sacrificing a and it used to be this cheat where um what you had to do is use like a specific type of paper because it was like something in the coding that was fucked up. But if you use this wallpaper which you like buy or like, get from like catalog, that would give you free, right? Um, and it would, like, something messed up with the ID, but it can be a super powerful rare item. Paper. So you could just go around gifting people this wallpaper and they would love you. And then you could use this wallpaper to summon this super rare sword. So I would, like, speedrun to get that wallpaper. And then get that sword. And, or, or, like, paper and just gift. I would just breeze through the game. Okay. Goofy, but it was fun. Like, there's quite a few secret things. Like, on the last day of every month, if you come here exactly at 12 and right click the bush, you get a special little, like, uh, fun. Um, stuff like that, you know. Uh, and I think in year. Year one, please. Year one winter, you want all these notes. They basically just special thing. You come to the secret forest, which thing. If you come to the secret forest with honey, you get to meet a talking. Ah. Uh, much and it's crazy because one fucking guy made it crazy Play this game. Yeah, you can understand the story if you pay attention. Nice, it's got a super. It's not like crazy. Is a farmer? You. Not like crazy. Yeah, you can. Wait. But the story doesn't really end to you stop playing. In Mary, you can have most people don't want to fight game. Like up to you. And in a way, I really enjoy that. Yeah. 
Nice. Fuck. Um. Quite good. Like eight craft. Crazy. I think I'm gonna uh go lay down. Oh, maybe. Uh. So yeah. Um I enjoyed chatting. Hey. Hey. Shame. Bye guys. I'm gonna try to do this more. I always say that. I'm always like, I'm gonna shoot tomorrow. I'm gonna shoot next week. And then I didn't do it. But you know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to keep doing it. I mean, obviously, I'll be in Japan for the society of like next month. So I can't stream at all during March. But, it, well, next month is February. But, you know what I mean? Right? You know? But I'm gonna try to stream more. I like this. I enjoy it. And better about setting a show. I'm glad you enjoyed this stream. I don't normally get and do things. But I enjoyed it. And I think I'm going to play more audio tomorrow. I don't know how long I'll play it, but I'll play more. I'll be sober, obviously, and I'll be eating like my breakfast while I play it. But play more tomorrow. Um, I'll start. I'll set up like a. I know Twitch has a built-in schedule. Uh, I'll try to set that up and follow along to it. And yeah. Um. Uh, the popping up and more people chatting and. Getting to know others. Good night. Depending what time I start. I'll probably start close to noon, maybe earliest 11 a.m., something like that. Which I think would be like noon for you, my 11 a.m., I think. So, you know, around that time. I'll probably. I'll, I think I'm going to aim for a goal of streaming at least hours every Monday. You know, if I don't keep up on that, oh well. But I'm going to try. You know? If not, there's always the VOD. I always try to post it on YouTube. Even if it's not same day posting the VOD, I try to post the VOD. So, um... Yeah. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Yeah. I like streaming more in the morning than I do at night. Feel like more attentive. But I don't mind night. We'll see. Yeah. 
Good night. Dreams. Goodbye.